Alright, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take a couple runs at the bunker and show you why the post uh, finger quote nerf B isn't as bad as a lot of people are thinking it is. Uh, it is a little bit different. It's not all about a high rate of fire anymore, but if you pair it with the right guns, it still does a very, very good job. Right, I am taking my Mechromancer and I'm not turning off my badass rankings. But since this is about the properties of B and uh, not how underpowered or overpowered anything happens to B, I figure that's okay. Alrighty, gear time. First off, we got a level 50 B. And we're going to use a level 50 Corrosive Lady Fist. Big deal about this one is the 400% crit bonus and the fact that it's corrosive and we're attacking a robot. Both things matter to the B. The slag damage bonus, crit damage bonus and elemental damage bonus all apply to the B and they work off the base gun. Alright, for my relic, I'm just going to shove the Bolt Hunter's relic in there just to eat up some space without giving me any combat bonuses. Although, you could pair it with uh, Corrosive. Or a Allegiance relic. Both are going to pump up the base damage of the gun and make it a little bit quicker. Hyperion one I'd normally use has a reload speed bonus instead of the max accuracy here just because Bunker is so big you just don't need the accuracy Okay, this first run I'm just going to do the whole thing without cutting it just so you can see that I haven't swapped anything What I'm using is exactly what I've shown you Here we go, because this relies on crits, get your crits. It wasn't quite quick enough, I had to do the last little bit without the B, but there you go. That's why I normally use my Hyperion Reload Bonus Relic. Alright, I farm the bunker a lot, and here's the reason. Allegiance relics. They drop here a lot and they're not that uncommon in purple compared to everywhere else. Okay, let's zip through the boring at loot because I do want to show you this again using hail. And a couple other guns for that matter. Okay, you get hail for completing round five of Fink's Slaughterhouse. Um a lot of people are keen on this gun simply for the fact that it is a Moxie's gun, it heals you through the damage it deals, and it does higher than the listed damage. Again, for the purposes of the B, it's corrosive and has that 150% critical damage bonus. Alright, you can see the health's going down. Although I'm not getting a lot of crits, um, I do get clipped. So I'm just going to drop the bot to give him something else to shoot at. Okay, just to show you something here, um, 
I'm not hitting the turrets and I'm not hitting the turrets for a reason. Uh, if you hit the turrets, he's going to put everything away, fly off, fly around a couple of times, um, throw his mortars from a distance and whatnot, which you don't want him to do because it just makes the whole thing take longer. Anyway, that's the bunker down to a one-shot kill, so we'll zip forward again. An awesome find for the second boss kill of the day. Only an 82%, but it's better than a poke in the eye with a burnt stick. Right, I'm going to do this again, and I'm going to use a level 50 non-elemental bitch. It's still got the uh, crit damage bonus, but I'm going to show you how important it is to combine all the layers to get yourself a really good effect. stats and is the right damage type. Alright, now when kill on the bunker, make sure you wait until all this loot has come out. You will get a lot more E-Tech weapons out of this loot than any other loot he drops. For that matter, you'll get more E-Tech guns out of the box round the back than you will in the rest of his loot. Okay, one more time, we're going to use an E-Tech Plasma Caster. And boom, done again. Alright, it's not slow with any of these weapons, but you can see clearly that the uh, blue quest gun with the 400% crit is by far the fastest. It just nails him so fast it's not funny. The plasma caster and the hail are about tied, but with the plasma caster, I had to stand here and get the string of crits, where with the hail, I just stood underneath and nailed him. With the exception of a couple of the special guns out there, 
you know, the fast refire is not what it's about. It's about having the right gun underneath the B. Okay, so while chasing down your really high DPS weapons, if you aren't using the B is the way to go, once you've got the B, the equation changes. Okay, the color of the gun is not as important as the damage type and the crit bonus that it is going to give you. Now, I haven't set out to make a perfect video. It's got a few issues, and I'm sorry about that, but I do hope this gets a lot of you solo farmers back out having fun.